Greetings everyone, I'm Nerdy and this is my review of Papers, Please. Papers, Please is what I like to call a job simulation game. It was developed by Lucas Pope and was published through his production company 3909 LLC in August of 2013. The game takes place in 1982 in a fictional dystopian Eastern Bloc-esque country called Arstotska. It just ended a six-year war with its bordering country Colchia and the tensions between the two countries are still high. We play as a citizen of Ars Tosca that got chosen in the job lottery to work at the border checkpoint as the immigration officer. This is a good thing. You now get to live in a class 8 apartment and can afford things like food, heat, and medicine for your family. The job starts off easy enough. Our Stotskins are the only ones allowed into the country. But as the days go on, more rules and regulations pop up, and we must enforce them. We get paid 5 credits per person processed, and this rate never increases. When you let someone through that had something wrong in their papers, you will get a warning. On your third warning for the day, your pay is reduced by 5 credits. And 5 more credits for all mistakes from there on out for the day. Throughout the game, your rent will go up, your family will get sick, and you will have to pick which thing your family will go without. And if you don't have enough to pay for your rent, you will become delinquent. Your family will be sent away and you will go to jail. Our job starts off reviewing just the passports, but quickly evolves into reviewing additional paperwork and can sometimes involve taking new photos via the search scanner. The paperwork swiftly begins to clutter your desk and gets absolutely out of control, if you ask me. I need a bigger desk, damn it! To review these papers, we have an inspect mode. This allows us to check one piece of information against another. Is the passport legit? Are there any expired papers? Do the IDs match? Are the height, weight, and face matching the person standing in the booth? Are all the necessary papers here? If you find something mismatched, you can interrogate the person. There are solutions to almost every discrepancy. Fingerprinting, search scanner, handing over the missing paperwork. If you can clear it up, you can pull out your approved stamp and let the person pass. And if you can't, you will have to deny them. But if there's more than one discrepancy, you will be able to detain the person. The majority of the people you process won't have much to say to you. You'll get some cranky people, but mostly neutral people will come through. Sometimes, women will give you a flyer to a brothel. There are some people that come through that will plead with you to let them through. Slight spoiler up ahead, uh, skip to the time marked on the screen right now if you want an experience completely spoiler free. A man tells you that he and his wife are immigrating, they're fleeing Antigran tyranny. He asks you not to be too tough on his wife. But when she comes in, she doesn't have the proper paperwork. When you interrogate her, she says that she will be killed if she goes back. So the question is, do you send her back? You will get in trouble for letting her in, and depending on how many times you've gotten in trouble that day, your pay might be docked. If your pay is docked, is it worth risking your family a meal or heat or medicine for the day? There are a couple stories that make you choose if you're going to let people through or even to take a bribe so you can afford to keep your family alive. But you always have to take a risk when not sticking to the rules. Will you play as a drone for Aristotska? Or will you make your own choices? The amount of paperwork that you have to go over becomes stressful. At the end of each day, you have to manage your finances, and sometimes you can upgrade your desk to make your work faster. Things like spacebar to inspect and tab to pull out the stamp bar, but this costs credits. Credits I don't have. So what if I take a bribe or two? I mean, like, I have to work my ass off, so my family doesn't either starve to death or die of an illness, rent keeps going up, and you guys keep giving me more paperwork to go over to clutter my desk and bog down the system, and you don't even have the decency to give me more- But of course, I will work my hardest, and I understand that if I become delinquent in my payments, that it is my fault, and I will go directly to Gulag. Glory to our Stotska. The game consists of 20 different endings, and I haven't found a single good one in my playthroughs. 
There might be one, I am not sure, but good luck with that. I did and still am enjoying playing through the story of Papers, Please. I also enjoyed the pixelated art of the game. The colors used for the booth makes it more dreary, and the way the people and landscape looks in the monitors really drives home that dystopian feel for me. The same goes for the audio in the game. The crunchy noise of the voices makes everyone sound so depressed, and the printing noise of the citations quickly became a noise that I dreaded. I absolutely love the crisp paper sounds, that's some quality eargasm stuff right there guys. Plus, the music in the game is perfectly thematic to the whole Eastern Bloc dystopian feel, and it sounds good. My brother has been asking me to play this game for years, and I'm not really good at listening to him. Like, he bought me Alien Isolation, like, when it came out, and I still haven't played that. But anyways, I kind of wish I did play this game sooner, because I really enjoyed it. I mean, like, you know me, I love job simulators, and I love stories, and this one has both. So I would fully recommend this to anybody who likes job simulators with a dystopian twist. It's pretty, pretty niche, I guess. Oh, and fun fact, there is a short film based off the game. They did a really good job and you should take the 10 minutes to check it out. Link in the description below. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it around. Uh, thank you so much if you are a subscriber. And special shout out to my patron Sabat. Thanks a lot. And also, social media links are in the description below if you want to follow me on those things, I guess. And uh, I guess that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Sorry. Terrible.